Hey, this is Mass X with a new One Punch Man, the strongest video. And I went ahead and did a Mirage Trial Bounty Quest video of the teams I'm using. This can be incredibly difficult at the two legendary stages, as well as even the hard stages to a certain degree. So I want to go ahead and just kind of show the teams I'm using. Yes, I know a lot of people won't have these characters possibly, but the theory behind them and what makes them usable is really taking advantage of your passives or, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, by the way, none of this is scripted today. I'm doing this off the cuff because, of course, I'm still out of town and I am sitting outside holding the mic in one hand my leg is holding a tablet so bear with me in mind but as you can see in this first team the key is really going to be awaken terrible tornado you want her passives to go off and that's what's pretty much going to take out the team in the process and that's really all it's about my second team i believe the one i just previously showed really is going to focus on RMG with the follow-up to take out each individual character at a time. In my last team, even though my flashy flash is barely built up anymore, I use that character also for purposes of the passive, as well as King to try to keep people alive, because he's really not effective marrying on what you're playing against until round three. But as you can see there, ATT, whoosh, boom done over with now this one you got the the mighty combo of of course genos and rmg and that's really the key here as you're going to see because you have to go with three teams you're going to kind of have to dumb everything down so my focus is always on two major dps's and passives that are going to assist you immensely because of how these um teams are built and how difficult they are to kill with the different boosts they are giving and you can click on the team beforehand there's a little emblem in the right hand side it will tell you what they're going to have their emblem skill so you know in advance and really it's just all about just to me passives it really is and you know with genos you're getting some burn rmg you're getting the follow-up and you know i'm even using subterranean just to get that extra follow-up with those burns because you got genos that can do burns as well as that character so think about that when you're building your teams because to me that that's what's really key with these type of teams that you're having to play right now until we get better characters to be able to conquer this but i went ahead i put every video on here except for the easy i went ahead and put the other ones so you can see what my two team builds are which is of course much easier to build two teams versus three and the three team builds is what you're seeing now. I started with that because I figured that would be probably the one people would want to see the most. But, you know, you can see your the opponent had the chicken there. And uh, that is also a good character to use on your front line in particular. Because, you know, again, you're trying to protect your back row. That's hopefully where your DPSs are. And really let them do the hard work that is the key now i'm going to go ahead and show you now why king is useless till round three yeah yeah he ain't doing anything um that's why king becomes fairly useless pretty soon for a little while but he still got the shatter and he's still very useful if you go past round two that's why I have him in here. Plus, of course, I can help heal my team with him either way if I need it. Flashy Flash and Boros are really the stars of this one. You know, Boros is kind of like, I treat him like RMG on this one. 
you know, he's going to be taking out one by one characters and flashy flash, even without being completely built up greatly. He's there for that passive and the follow up, of course. But really, I find that if you can just do that with two good DPSs, have a solid passive on each team, and create a front line that can hold for you, then you're, you know, you can get through these. It's a pain, and I admit it, it's a pain. And, but it's not gonna take long. I mean, we've got characters coming pretty quickly that is gonna make this even simpler for everybody. But just wanted to throw this out there, something quick, something painless. Hope I made some sense here doing this completely off the cuff. But if you wanna watch the other fights that will follow up here all in the same video, that's why it's kinda long. But if you got any comments or questions, let me know. I'm working on a more in-depth one where I'm going to start testing lower end characters for viability once I get back from being out of town. And that is really about it for today. With that as always, please like and subscribe. And as again, like I said, if you want to watch the other battles, they will continue on after this. Thank you very much. Have a great day.